Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm back with another delicious dinner recipe and today I'm going to show you how I make my bacon, macaroni and cheese. And this dish is like the ultimate comfort food. That cheese sauce is so creamy and smooth and you have crispy bits of bacon in there. We're gonna make our homemade cheese sauce with cheddar cheese, gruyere, a little bit of cream cheese to make it extra creamy and smooth. I have my macaroni cooking away on my back burner already so I'm going to get started with my bacon and the cheese sauce. So I'm going to preheat a large saute pan. I'm going to render about four to five bacon slices. The more bacon, the better. So feel free to add as much as you would like. And once that bacon is nicely rendered, I'm going to transfer it onto a tray lined with paper towels. Just absorb any of the extra grease. And we're gonna keep all the remaining bacon fat in the pan. It's gonna add so much great flavor. And into my hot pan, into the bacon grease, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of unsalted butter. Just gonna let that melt. And into that melted butter, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of flour. Mix that in. And I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and let this cook away for about a minute. And once that flour has cooked for a minute, I'm going to start adding in my milk. So I have three cups of whole milk. I'm going to add about a cup at a time and give it a good whisk after each addition. Next, I'm going to add in one cup of chicken broth. You can also use veggie broth for this. I'm going to season this with about a teaspoon of salt, a little black pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika to complement the smoky bacon. You can also use regular paprika for this. And now I am ready to add my cheese. So today I'm using three cups of grated cheddar cheese. I'm going to drop that into the sauce. And I like to use a sharp cheddar cheese so it has lots of great flavor. Next I'm going to add in one cup of grated Gruyere cheese. And this is a really sweet kind of slightly nutty cheese and it melts really well. It's gonna be perfect for this. If you can't find Gruyere, uh, something like mozzarella or even white cheddar would also work really well. And I'm also going to add in one eight ounce brick of softened cream cheese. Just kind of break it up and drop it into the sauce. I've reduced my heat to low and I'm going to stir this cheese sauce and let that cream cheese and all the other cheese just melt slowly. You want it to be really nice and creamy and that just takes time. So low and slow is the way to go. And I typically let my sauce cook at low heat for about seven to nine minutes. You wanna whisk until that cream cheese is completely dissolved. You don't have any clumps left in there and it should be nicely thickened. And then chop the bacon into small bits and add it straight into the cheese sauce. And for this recipe, I prepared one pound of elbow pasta, drained it completely, and I'm going to pour the sauce right over the pasta. And then mix that all together. All right, and now let's dig in and enjoy this incredible macaroni pasta. Look at that. And you can finish the dish off with a little bit more bacon bits on top and maybe some chopped parsley for color. How good does that look? The creaminess is just out of this world, guys. So creamy and rich. And that's it guys for my easy bacon, macaroni, and cheese. And once I add the cheese sauce into the pasta, I just kind of let it sit for about five minutes. It'll start to thicken up and you're gonna have the creamiest, most amazing mac and cheese. Time to dig in and enjoy. I just love the smoky aroma from that bacon. It smells so good. Mmm, mmm-hmm, mmm. Now this is what I call macaroni and cheese. It is so good, it just elevates mac and cheese to a whole new level. If you've never tried making your own homemade version, this is the recipe to try. It's so creamy and smoky and you have bacon in there. Did I mention bacon? Yes, it's so, so good. Now for the full recipe, just head on down into that video description box. I'll leave a link that'll take you over to my blog so you can print it off and of course share it with all your family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this dinner recipe as much as I do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.